All right, here is a walkthrough of my Rails portfolio project. Um, currently, we're at the, the root page um, by running the server and going to localhost 3000. Um, and so what I'm going to start by doing is uh, sign up a new user. Um, we'll do that by creating somebody named Tim. Password will be 123 create the user, logs them in. Um, I can log back out and log in as Tim again using the same credentials. And there that works. Um, uh, since it's all, I've already logged in as myself through my GitHub account and don't have any other, so when I go to the login with GitHub, it's going to log me in as me. Um, but we will log out and run through this as Tim. Um, so the main function of this website, if you didn't read from the front page, is that it's a, a way to organize the wine collection that you may currently have at home or thinking about buying. Um, and you can kind of organize it in two separate ways. Um, so we start at the profile page where you see um, your name and then how many bottles you have in your collection um, and how many bottles you have in your drinking collection, your Uncork collection. Um, so currently in your wines, both collections are empty. Wine types, there are none because you have none in your collection. Uh, so how you would start is by adding a wine. Uh, four categories, we'll just use some of the ones I've already had. Name, year, price, um, and we'll call it a Chardonnay. So you'll be able to create the wine there. And if we go back, this will show you that you have one bottle then currently in your collection. You look at your wines in your wine collection there is a wine called yum it brings you to that wine show page where you're able to edit wine delete um, uncork the bottle or um, go back to your wine collection you can also access your wines through your wine types um, which is a collection of them organized a little differently through the type of wine it is so you look at your chardonnay and yum will be in there um, we can kind of look at this again if we created another wine um, a tasty wine uh, from 2017, $70, and we added another bottle of Chardonnay. Um, you'll see that if we go back to the wines, in our undranken wine collection, what we currently have in our house or in our storage is there. And in wine types, Chardonnay, both of those are listed. Um, so from here, we can go to either of the wines we've already committed um, and we can uncork them. What uncorking them does is it moves them from your wine collection. So say you open it and drink it, um, it'll then move it to the other side, the uncork collection. Because you may want to be able to keep the wines around so you can kind of look at what you drank um, and it, it leaves space for added functionality where you could put comments in there and stuff like that. Um, but currently it just brings you to the show page of the wine there. Um, and the wine types, you'll see that that wine is now gone from wine types because wine types is going to be used more to uh, to navigate what you actually only have in your collection. Um, yeah, that is basic functionality of the website. Um, add wine is uh, in the top bar, and your two ways of kind of looking at your collection down here. All right, I'm going to log out, and there you have it.